How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me again on tea. I'm going to taste this jambalaya first. Let's just go ahead on and cook. Get the part of the chicken that I like. Turtle stew. Come here, boy. Mm. You know that looks good? This is going to be good. I guarantee you. I talk to it like it knows what I'm talking about. I like it. It's good. I believe in easy cooking. Believe me, I do. I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. And today, we're gonna have macaroni and sausage and pecan casserole and hominy with mushrooms. And what I got to do first is get all that water out of that, that lye hominy, turn this fire on. And I got the right one, I can't get over that. I have a hard time remembering which one's right. I got to put uh, nothing in there to get this out of there. Heat the olive oil in a large skillet over medium fire. Add the remaining ingredients. I don't know what they are yet. But I got to get this water out of this uh, La Harmony. I know that. And I'll stir it with this spoon. Now, nah, that's good. Cool. And I'll turn this fire up a little bit so it'll get hot, hot. This is so nice to be able to sit down and do that. You know it. I guarantee you. And I've got some stories to tell you all, too, in just a little bit, but I ain't quite ready yet. I've got to warm up to this. Now, in this spot over here, this skillet, I'm going to put a half a cup of olive oil. That's olive oil in there. Put that in there like that. I'll put you on the side, then I'll put some other stuff in there. Now, this is starting to get hot already. I got to get that water out of that, uh, that hominy if I'm going to do it right. Now, what I'm going to do, and I'll put that half a cup of olive oil in there. I'm going to put a, a slow fire under that so that I can put, add, put all kind of stuff in there, all kind of stuff. Let me put that on a slow fire, more or less slow, on a medium high fire, and roll that olive oil around. I got it. Into that, I'm going to put a half a cup of mushrooms, chopped, chopped mushrooms. Let's get the sizzling. Anytime you want to, I'm ready for you to sizzle. <laughs> and I'm going to put a half a cup of chopped onion. And you think this stuff ain't good, so huh? you just don't know. You eat it by itself or with anything you want to put with it. Quit shaking. No. Into that, I'm going to, to put a half a cup of chopped bell pepper, sweet pepper. And stir it. And I'm going to put about a cup of, of fresh parsley. This is nearly a cup. It's not quite a cup. It's about three-fourths of a cup. And stir that in there, too. Get hot, baby. I want to hear you frying. And smell you frying. Now, I'm going to save this to put in there, but I've got to put... This is a about 20 ounces of, of how many I have here. And I got some garlic I want to put in there, but I got to get a little more juice in there before I put them garlic, because if you don't do that garlic, you just close it up and won't put out any, any good taste. And I love the taste of garlic. You see this, this is going good. I'm gonna cook all that water out. Got it up on medium high, I think. And that's what it needs to do. Medium high is right. Now let's stir it up. Ain't it nice to sit down like a gentleman and cook like that? This is easy cooking. <laughs> I guarantee it is. All right, now let's get with it there. Into this right here. The recipe don't call for it, but I think it would taste good. 
a cup of dry Chablis wine, wine that is good to drink as well as it is to cook with, see? And I got the salt that to taste. Now there's salt already, this hummus has got a little salt in it. So what I'm gonna do is just put a smidgen of salt, maybe a teaspoon, just about, I guess, a half or a, a three quarters, three quarters of a teaspoon. Now that's three quarters of a teaspoon, let's make a teaspoon, got it. So you're on. You're doing good. And the water's getting out of that harmony. Go oh, on, water, get out of that. Let's see what else I got to do to this. Oh, me have got all that being done. You know, I always read my recipes because I have to, because I, I couldn't possibly remember them all. I just can't remember all of my names sometimes. You know how that is. <laughs> now, I've got a story to tell you, but I'm going to wait until I get all this stuff going like it's supposed to be going. But I'm not going over, I'm not gonna go over there and start that, because once I start that, I can't stop. I've got to get it all and put it in a casserole dish, and then put it in the oven at 325 degrees, that is. But this cooks right on top of the stove, and it cooks good, and it tastes better. Oh, oh boy. Let's turn that fire up a little bit over there. You're doing good, Dale, I guarantee. I may just bail some of that out of there without taking all of it. The water smells good too, doesn't it, huh? Yeah. It does. I'll guarantee it does. You know, I never will forget. There's a young couple from down around Gonzales, Louisiana, just south of, of Baton Rouge. They made marriage for five years and had no cheering. Then all of a sudden, they had twins, a boy, and a girl twin. And man, all the whole damn family was there. There must have been a thousand of them that were kin to them. They had to call the state police and put them out in the parking lot so the nurses and the doctors could do what they're supposed to do. And they got them out there, and everybody was arguing and fighting about who's going to name those children. And everybody had at least 20 names. And it upset the poor little lady what had the twin. And finally her mother came in and said, baby, I'll name the twin. She said, mama, look, you had 40 name apiece. I know that. And you ain't gonna name them. Uncle Jean-Pierre is gonna name the twin. Uncle Jean-Pierre, he don't got any sense. He'll name my twin, though. He was her great uncle. And by golly, she had another uncle who was a deputy sheriff down in Gonzales, Louisiana, and he come up that highway with that syringe on full blast, red light, blinkity, blinkity, blink, <laughs> just raising sand to get there. When he got there, he just, he just cut the syringe and left the red light to blinkity, 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 blink. He got out, he said, I hope I'm not too late to name them twins. I got just the name for them. Somebody said, you too late. Well, who in the hell named them, huh? He said, Uncle Jean, if you're not him, he hadn't got enough sense to come out of a shower of rain. He named him. Well, what did he name? He said he named the little girl Denise. Oh, well, I didn't know that old man had sense enough to do that. That's a nice, nice French name. What did he name the boy? They say, the nephew. <laughs> that water's getting out of there and it's, it's hurrying up just for me and I depreciate that, I guarantee. <laughs> Man, that's gonna be good, yeah. Got enough salt in that, got a little wine. Wine enhances the flavor and takes the bitterness out of things like onion, parsley, bell pepper, or celery, all that's got a little bitterness in wine, take it out. All the time it takes it out. Well, you're looking good there. <laughs> I think I may just start putting that in there just for fun. <laughs> no water left, practically. I better turn that fire off and put that in there and stir it around as I put it in there. Aye. Right. No. Oh. Good white lye hominy. You know, my mother used to make this when I was a child, and I've never tried it, but I bet if I started, I would remember how she did it. I would lie, and uh, we had a lot of corn we reared on the farm. And when I started cooking, 
I was about eight years old to help her to keep from working out there on that damn farm, bending over or plowing a mule or anything else. I wasn't about eight years old, but I said, Mama, I'll help you in the kitchen. She said, well, come on in, darling. The old darling went in there, as you hear. <laughs> and I learned to cook many, many things. My mother was a, a very creative, creative cook. She could take nothing and make it taste like it was something. I'll tell you that right now. And I, I enjoyed that. And I, without knowing it, I would have been educated to do something I never thought I'd do, cook for other people, as I've been doing now for oh, a long, long time. And I can tell you I learned exactly. Now, let's turn that around. And I'm going to turn the fire down on that also, too. Stay still there. What are you trying to do? I've got to get it all mixed up together. Get the mushrooms the way they know where they are. Get the bell pepper and the onion. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to put that on a low fire, too. Then I'm going to go over here and put together this casserole I've been thinking about. I got to get down anywhere I can see that low fire deal. There it is. Put that on low. Now you cook. Don't be messing around. Okay, over here now, I've got that macaroni and sausage and pecan casserole. This is the casserole that I'm going to put it in. It said, bring a large pot of water to, boil, to a boil, which I did. I did that. And then you add the macaroni, the pecan, salt, cayenne pepper, and olive oil. That's to keep it from boiling over it. That's what the olive oil is for. It also adds flavor. Parsley and the garlic. You put the garlic in there when you've got a lot of, of, of of moisture. I just said that before. And it, I, I cooked that until the, mac the macaroni is done. Now that macaroni is done. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put it through a colander. I'm just going to take it out like this and put it in here where I want to mix it with everything else. Now I'll put the puck on and everything else in here. You know, the, the puck on become a little softer than when they come off the tree. You know? that, that, that they do. And I've got to get me something to hold this thing so I can get that out of there and get it done. Now you're going, now you got it, partner. Put that in there. And then I'm going to add a bunch of other stuff. A cup of dry white wine. Chablis. You know, we used to use sauterne, but you can't even find it now. So. And it's just, it, it, uh, it is a Chablis tasting wine. But <clears throat> Chablis tastes like Chablis. And Sauterne kind of tasted like Chablis. So I've never had any trouble going from Sauterne to Chablis to get this dig, you know? And that's what I do. And I got to stir that in a minute after I get all this. Come on out of there, boy. Ah. I want to get all those puck on, too, because they add to the flavor. Believe me, they do. I make a pecan cornbread sometimes. We use pecan meal, and it's absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Come on out of there. See, it's good to be ambiguous. I mean ambidextrous, like me, shucks. <laughs> Holding it with one hand and working with the other one. And I can do that with either hand, too. That's what's good. All right, now. Got most all that out of there. I'm gonna get all those pecans out and tell you that for true. I need every damn one of them in there. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you can throw it through a colander and do it a lot quicker, and sometimes I'll do that. But I didn't have a colander right available, so I said I'll just take an old spoon with holes in it and do the same thing that a colander would do, drain the water off, which is it's happening. And this con thing is going to hide from me. It's crazy as hell because I'm going to find it right now in there. Oh, that's still macaroni. Come here, Pecan. Yeah, got you, you little devil. Now, now I've got to beat the hell out of them eggs right now. It's not real hot. These are four large, extra large eggs.
Come on, Ag, let's get with it then. Sure am. Now, I got to put this sausage in there and mix it up with the, with the pecans and the macaroni. And then I'm going to add a little wine, <coughs> a little wine to those eggs. Excuse me, I hate to do it, but I'm going to take a sip of water. Water. Now I'm going to mix this up just a little bit. Yes, sir. So when I pour them eggs and that wine on it, it's going to be awful good. And I'm going to put some cheese in there, too, and mix it up when I get ready for it. I'm going to put two cups of cheese in there and stir that in this egg and wine and season with some cayenne pepper. It's already done did that. It's in that already. So let me put this wine on this. Come here, wine. Good wine, yeah. <laughs> now let's just beat hell out of wine and eggs. That make them mad at each other. What I got to do, I mix the wine, pecan, sausage, and two cups of grated cheese. I got to put some grated cheese and mix it up in there. If I can, and I think I can. How about that? My hands are clean. That is real fine grated cheese, isn't it? How about that? Now I'll mix that all up together. And I hope it don't melt the cheese too fast because that macaroni is still hot there. Get that all mixed up and keep it all in that bowl. We're going to be all right, but you watch me keep it all in that bowl. Whew. Man, man, man. Come on there, baby. Get together. They're doing it. Then I'm going to pour them egg on that. Then I'm going to put it in here. While I'm doing it, I better kind of move my olive oil that I grease this with. Now I use olive oil to cook with a great deal because not only is it tasty, it's good for you. No claret. I can't even say it, let alone spell it. I don't know how mine is, but it must be pretty healthy. Um, I've been on a diet and I've lost 185,000 pounds in my life, at least that much, maybe a little more. <laughs> Now I'm going to put this, mix this up with the stir in the egg and the wine that recipe said. Now we mix that pretty good. Aye, aye, aye. I'm surprised that bowl held it all, you know. It sure did. Put this right here. Uncover you up now. Put this on that cold stove and mix this up. And I'm going to put it in that casserole dish right there. And I'm going to put that other two pound, two cup, two cup, excuse me, two cup of grated cheese. I'm going to put it in that oven, 325 degrees for 45 minutes. And I guarantee you, it'll taste good. Mm hmm Now you go in there, baby. Tell you what let's do. Let's just go over here. and and put this in here where it's supposed to go. Get the cheese handy so I can handle that without uh, looking like I'm as clumsy as I really am. There we go. Now. Mm-hmm. Don't that look good? Sure that looks good. <laughs> Smells good. Let's just, just go into this, though. Uh, casserole dish like we're supposed to go. 
Look at that. Look at that. It's going to fit in this, too. I'm surprised. Put cheese on top. Let it around. Get everything out of here that I possibly can, which is all of it. Get back in there. You, too. No, I'll just, by golly, put you back in there. Now, we're going to spread it around good and put the cheese on top of it. Nice and juicy. And you go over here out of my way, please. Thank you very much. There you go. And I spread this on top of it, all over it. And I guarantee you it's going to be good. Whew. I tell you right now, my mama used to cook a dish something like this. And if she didn't have what I had to put in there, she'd substitute something else. For instance, she'd put okra. She didn't have a, didn't have a, a pecan. She'd put peanuts. And if she didn't have peanuts or, or pecans, She'd find something that kind of tasted like it. I don't know what that she'd get, but she'd do that. Now I'm going to put this in an oven at 325 degrees. Let I me mean, tell me, boy, let's go over to this oven I got over here. And I want you to go in there and behave. Here I go. Casserole and all, and old Justin. Set, set this down so I can open that oven. Sit there a minute, all right? Here, let's go. Nice big oven. Mm. 325 for 45 minutes, I believe I said. I think that's what it is. Cook, baby, cook. <laughs> now, let me stir this. I don't want nothing to stick in here. I'm not thinking. That is good, too. Whew. Man, go ahead on now. Lie hominy. Add gold. I see a piece of cheese that didn't get in there. I'll just put it in my mouth. <laughs> so it did. <laughs> now I'm gonna sit down over here and taste some of that. It looks good. It looks good enough to eat. And that's what I'm gonna do. And I may tell another little story. I never will forget. This actually happened in Baton Rouge. Let me get that piece of cheese. Let me pour myself a little bit of red wine. I like red wine. That's why I drink it instead of white. White wine's good, some people prefer that. But don't let them tell you what you got to have a wine with this and another wine with that. Drink any damn wine you like, that's the kind of wine to drink. <laughs> I'm like that time I went to that fellow's house. And he said, uh, would you like some wine? I said, I sure would. What kind would you like? I said, what kind you got? <laughs> Here's the hominy. Put this in this plate. And I'll eat it. And here's the casserole. Get out of there. That ain't going. You don't have to check that out. But I, I do want to tell you about this fella. When I saw him. I was across the street from a, a motion picture house in Baton Rouge years ago. And that fellow went in at 11 o'clock in the morning, came out and bought another ticket at 1 o'clock and went in there. Come back, bought another, another ticket at 3 o'clock and went in there. Come back, bought another ticket at 5 o'clock. Came out, bought another ticket at 7 o'clock. And I couldn't stood it. I asked him, is that show sure all that good? He said, it's not all that good. But I said, why the hell you keep going back in there, huh? He said, well, I keep going back in there because there's one scene in there when there's a good looking woman sitting on her porch in this hot weather and there's a train, train track right in front of her house and she gets up, stands up there and starts to take off these clothes and about that time here come a train right by there, you know? And my goodness alive, when that train was a big old long freight train, after it got by, she was gone. She went into the house. And I've been going back in there hoping that train will be late one time. (laughs) 
Never did do it though. I got a taste there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that is good. And this old harmony coming to me then. Mm, mm, so good, I got to pick it up here. That is good stuff, I guarantee. Mm, 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 harmony. So seeds with macaroni and pecan. You are good, my friend. I don't know how I do this. My mama taught me how, that's how I do it, I guarantee. <laughs> mm, mm, mm.